Hello everyone, this morning I'm going to show you a neat trick uh, how to combine multiple cells within a column in Excel. We're also going to do it within a row, uh, which is a bit easier. So, you will find that if you want to combine those cells, the one simple way that Excel offers is to use the classical approach, rather annoying one, unless you're dealing with two or three cells only, which would be when you do the, your 1024 cells and you're ready, uh, then you hit enter and it combines them. It combines them. But as I said, this way is good for two or three cells. Once you want to combine over 100, 500, 1000, 2000 cells, you're going to go nuts and it's not, it's not a viable approach. So let, let's show you how it's done. Mind you, this is not a legit formula. It's a trick. It's sort of a workaround. We're going to combine all those cells in a sentence and I'll use a common delimiter, which will be space. In other words, I want space between each of those words. So I'm going to use a function called concatenate and bracket. Then I'll use the transpose function, bracket again. Now, you just have to go and select the entire array of cells within that column that you want to combine. Here I have type 18, but they could have been, as I said, a thousand. Close bracket, close bracket. Do not hurry to hit enter yet, because if you do, this will happen which is nothing. So let's do it again the proper way. Concatenate, transpose, then we select the array, then we close the brackets. Now let's select the transpose part of the formula only, just like you see I'm doing here, and press either F9 on your keyboard or control plus equal. Do not hurry to hit enter yet. You see the curly brackets here? You have to remove them first. Now it's time to hit enter. All the cells within that column are combined. But wait, I wanted to have space between them. So let's do it again. We're going to add that common delimiter. It could be space, it could be comma, it could be anything you choose. Equals concatenate, transpose. You select the array. Now, only once, and parenthesis, your delimiter, parenthesis, close the brackets. Do not hit enter yet, right? Let's select again that part of the formula. Control plus equal or F9. Let's remove the curly brackets. And hit enter. Now this is more like it. All right. So you saw it's rather quick. It takes seconds and it will allow you to combine thousands of cells with ease. If those cells are situated within a row, then things are actually a bit easier. You do not have to use the transpose function. Just concatenate will do. Concatenate. Then let's select the entire array. Then we add our common delimiter. Then we close the bracket. Do not forget again, select that part of the formula, just like I did, then control plus equal or F9, remove the curly brackets, press enter. There you go. It is a nice and elegant way to go around the not so functional classical formula to do that. And if you want to do the same thing 
across many cells in a sheet or many sheets just like you can copy and paste a formula then you have to use Visual Basic script but recording that sequence of actions would be so much easier than anything else you could think of so there you go enjoy